everybody, it's Chris from the Evermore Podcast, your Newcastle United Podcast and the Evermore YouTube channel. Back with another rumour has it video. We're going to get stuck into some players that we'll be linked to in the uh, the summer transfer window. Now it's officially open and uh, we're searching for the centre-halves continue. So we're going to get stuck into this player now. It's a player that we should all know because he's a Premier League player and uh, he's part of the Manchester United dross, <laughs> if you will. They want to ship out uh, since Eric Ten Hag's come in. And uh, the player we're talking about, we're going to pull him up here, is, uh, is Eric Bailly. Now, Eric Bailly, when fit, is a decent player, but I think the when fit question is is obviously something that needs to be asked. Mark Spashed up one of his brilliant stat slides here, as you can see. There wasn't really enough stats to give Eric Bailly a comparison or a percentile um, like we have done previous players. So what Mark's done there is he's highlighted, obviously, the seasons that, that Eric Bailly's been there. And you can see straight away from that, it's a real big concern. So as Mark's put there, blocks is his key strength. He's a proper defender. You know, every time he has been fit and he's played, I think he had a nice spell under Mourinho. Uh, he just seemed to be in the way every time someone was having a shot. He was one of them last-ditch flying in centre-halves. And he looked OK. He's got a bit of pace as well. You know, can play a little bit. So he looked like a decent player. But I think injuries have absolutely savaged this lad's time at Manchester United. Now, the reported fee that Manchester United are asking for is eight and a half million quid. It sounds like good business for a 28-year-old established player. But if you just look at those stats there that Mark's pulled up, this is really, really worrying. So going right back to you know his first season with Manchester United there, he missed 26 games through injury. Season after 12, the season after 33, it was a major injury that he had there. The season after 15, and then season just gone. You know He only played seven times and he missed four games due to injury. Um, you can see there from his heat map, when he does play, he kind of hugs more towards that kind of um, right-hand side, which which is an interesting one, because all of the seven halves we've talked about have been left peggers, you know, like Sven Botman, um, you know, and, and Dick Gear as well, have all been left-footed centre halves, and Nathan Ake as well, if there's any truth in that one. So this is the first time we'll probably be linked to a right-sided centre half. Now, for me, like I say, Dan Burns the man for me. I'd be having him at centre half on the left hand side with Matty Target as left back, who's been our only signing so far. You know, so having another right footed centre half wouldn't be a bad option. And as I mentioned, eight and a half million quid isn't too bad. But uh, this this lad, unfortunately, I, I'm not sure that that would even be money well spent. I'd probably rather take a chance on something like Kel Watts. I've had a decent loan spell, bring him back, see how he gets in, you know, with, with the uh, the first team pitcher. And obviously, you know, Paul Dummett signed a contract there to, to probably be left back cover and uh, and fill in a centre half when he needs to be. And obviously, Paul Dummett has made a glass as well. Cracking player when he's fit, dead reliable, but he's very seldom fit. And so I think with Eric Bay, it's it's a, it's too big of a gamble for me. I mean, you know, we are the richest club in the world right now. You know, I know that's a bit of a hyperbole statement, but but the richest club in the world. And for me, we shouldn't be taking chances on eight and a half million pound cast offs that have been knackered most of their time in the Premier League. You know, it's a shame for the lad. You know, he seems like a decent player, and I'm sure he's had a real bad look with his injuries. But, you know, there might be an element of his, of his off field antics, possibly. Maybe his fitness, he's not keeping himself fit. To keep getting injury after injury like that is really, really worrying. You know, it, it takes you back to the likes of Ledley King and Paul McGrath who were way better players than Eric Bailly, you know what I mean? They, they had some serious knee problems. Um, but, you know, the managers knew how to play them, knew how to work with them. I mean, there was a there was a time where they didn't even train through the week, those two players, but they were man of the match on the Saturday. Eric Bailly, he's not getting that. He's, he's not training properly. He's not playing properly. So even for eight and a half million quid for me, I think it's a gamble too far. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below whether you agree or disagree, whether you take a chance on Eric Bailly. But for me, I just think there's better players out there we could, we could have a look at. You know, obviously, we, you know, there's players all over the continent being linked. We've got loads of players being linked to us, you know, time after time. And, uh, you know, th th there's going to be loads more linked as well. If nothing happens with the Sven Botman deal, you know, then I think, you know, we'll be looking elsewhere. And potentially, these names being thrown out there are, you know, the noises that the Botman deals fell through. But there should be a decision met. I think reached on that this week or this coming week. So we'll definitely be all over that. And if anything breaks with Botman for good or for bad, you know, we'll jump back on and we'll, we'll have a little chat about it as well. If you haven't already, guys, please remember you can click that like and subscribe button. We really appreciate it. We're, we're on 1,033 subscribers, I think it is now. So we're absolutely buzzing that we're in the 1,000 mark and above. Uh, thank you so much for everybody who has subscribed and liked the videos and left some really positive comments as well. We really appreciate that. But there's room for plenty more. So make sure you jump on. Uh, we're going to be back on Wednesday. Adam's got a cracking show lined up for you with uh, Kieran Maguire, who's a finance expert. He's going to be talking about transfers and then what we can and can't do this window. And then obviously Wednesday after that, we're going to have a special guest as well. So make sure you keep it tuned in, guys. Keep supporting that team. We'll call United and we'll be back with another transfer video soon. Take it easy. Cheers now.